that allowed me to see it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to 2024 Skeptic Camp. Thank you so much. We had a, a little lull. I don't know if anybody noticed that there was this, like a little break in the world where we kind of had, you know, we had to stay home and do everything over Zoom. Um, it was this, this, just this minor little thing that no psychic didn't tell us about or warn us in any way whatsoever. Make sure you know that. Um, I don't know why they're still in business. Why are psychics still in business whenever they felt it so badly? It didn't even warn us a little bit. Um, anyway, I digress. So, emergency exits directly behind you or to the side, just letting you know. There, people are looking around. There are name tags in the back. This is a very friendly, uh, casual skeptic camp. Hands up anybody who's not been here before. Goodness gracious. Wow. Welcome, 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 welcome. And hands up for those people who were not sure what I was talking about and you know have been here before. Okay, yeah, the, okay, welcome back. So what we're going to be doing today, the Skeptic Camp is a, um, it's a loose term for local skeptic conferences. And these are usually a stepping stone to get to larger conferences. Some groups stay very, very small and very local, and some grow over time into bigger conferences, regional conferences and so on. There will be a big conference in the Bay Area. Right, Leonard, he's somewhere around here. Yeah, there he is, standing in front of me. So there will be a big conference probably in June, and that's the Bay Area Skeptics tied with the Sacramento Area Skeptics, and, and the Lodi and Monterey and Santa Cruz will all be assistants. So that's a bigger conference. And then there's a much bigger conference, the big conference is held in Vegas in uh, uh, the weekend before October, and Greg will be talking about that today. So some people are fine staying very local, that's fine. Some people want to do something more or go to bigger conferences. Some people want to be more active. Skeptic camps are designed to be able to bring in people who are not necessarily professional speakers, people who are starting out, people who are just learning to do their talks and so on in the skeptical community to start growing their brand or practicing or whatever. And that's fine. Sometimes they, that's all they do. So if you're interested in ever wanting to do a skeptic talk at a skeptic camp, well, then be in touch. Maori County Skeptics. Um, you can talk to me or whomever. But um, in time, what happens is some groups, like I said, stay kind of global, and that's perfect, and some don't. What you're going to see today is a mixture, because we've been doing this a while, we're very confident how we do it. I keep thinking something's going to go wrong, and I've forgotten something, because everything ran so smoothly. I don't know, we have Deborah and Kathy, and, and others, they have uh, the Paula and so on, have brought a lot of snacks for you over here. There's coffee. Um, and so on over in this area. We close the little gate thing because it gets a lot of refrigerator noise. Um, we do take donations. We do not, if you do not want to give donations, that's fine. There are donation boxes in different places. We will be bringing in pizza for lunch. And uh, there is some places to eat farther down. But we found that Skeptic Camp is so social that most people tend to want to stay and talk and talk to the different people who are giving speakers. You know, give me speak, uh, talks. Adrian's going to be our keynote speaker today, and she's also going to leave us off tonight or at the end of the day. Uh, Adrian is the reason why we started Skeptic Camp this year. I had tried thinking, should I start to do another Skeptic Camp or not? I wasn't quite sure. And then Adrian said, um, who's a very good friend of mine, she said, you know, I really want to go to the Mystery House, the Winchester Mystery House. And she's an expert on it and has never been. And so um, she's from Canada. She came from Calgary, flew in on her own dime to come here today. And so I said, well, if Adrian really wants to go to the Winchester Mystery House, let's make that happen. So I said, well, why don't we have a skeptic camp and then we can, you could do a talk on Winchester Mystery House and then Sunday we'll go. She's like, I'll buy my ticket right now. <laughs> so I kind of had to put on a skeptic camp. So it just kind of, it's, it's her fault, right? So, um, I'm just letting you know that. So my name is Susan Kerbeck. Um, in case you don't know who that, that is, I run more or less the About Time Project as well as Monterey County Skeptics. My hand is in a lot of pies. And I'm always looking for more people to put their hands in pies because there's so much work to be done in our community. We're going to 
to start off with Adrian, and I told Adrian, if you're going to come all the way here, I'm going to give you a good long time to do your talk, to really expand. Um, she had given this talk in a 15-minute paper, Sunday paper presentation at the PsychOn event, which Greg was talking about. It was 15 minutes of, what do they call it, 15 minutes of terror? <laughs> yeah, it was 400 people staring at you, and some of the most notable people in the skeptic community are there watching you. I don't think Bill Nye was in the room when you were there, was he? Okay, but, you know, that kind of, and, and they're great, because they're sitting there asking questions, paying attention. So we're going to lead off with um, uh, Adrian Hill. She's going to talk for an hour. Are you doing Q&A? We'll see if I have time. I'll okay. Talk. People are going to be here later. And so you will be able to intermix and mingle with people and ask questions. Everybody's quite friendly. So I will be... Um, so write them down as we go along. Yeah, so <laughs> do that. Yeah, the, the schedule, I'm sorry I didn't have a printed schedule, but it's it started, uh, it's on Monterey County Skeptics. You should be able to find it. How many people here came because they saw the weekly article that was out? Okay, there's one. We had a couple people last night. That is wonderful. And we may have... Uh, uh, some reporters that actually show up here today, so don't be surprised. If you do not want to be photographed, please let one of the photographers know. If, um, just, just let us know. We're sensitive over that, but I was photographing from the back of the or whatever. Then after her, we're going to have Kyle Polish, who's right over here. No, no you're not. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle is a data skeptic. He has, I think, spoken at every skeptic camp we've ever had since 2015. Is that right? Close, yeah. yeah, he's coming all the way up from Los Angeles area, Southern California. Then I'm going to speak, because I haven't spoken at a conference in a very long time. Then we're going to follow by Greg Rowe over here. From, he runs Santa Cruz Skeptics, and their logo's right over here. Um, Santa Cruz Skeptics is our sister, one of our sister groups. It's so close, and they've just started out recently. So he'll be talking about his experiences. And then we're going to go to lunch. Lunch time, like I said, if you want to go get lunch, that's fine. But you'll find that there will be some foods in here to eat. Um, or you could go get it and come back. Because like I said, we tend to be very social. There's lots of people coming in. Come on in, welcome. We're just we're just stalling until you get all people do. <laughs> um, after lunch, mentalist Mark Edward, my partner, will be here. His magic class is here. I don't know where Mark is. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> teacher Mark teaches magic at the senior active senior adult center in Salinas on Thursdays. So um, you should check that out. There's his students are here, so he should be here any moment, I hope. And then after that, we're going to have, um, is it Leonard? Are you going to go right after that? Yeah, I think so, because I have two different pictures. I hope I didn't mess it up. So Leonard will be talking about something very interesting. I'm not exactly sure what he's talking about today, but he's <laughs> spoken at almost all of our skeptic camps. And then followed by Wendy Hughes here in the front. And uh, Wendy Hughes is going to be talking about a very painful subject. She went through a romance scam. So this isn't a, a romance scam talking about a story of how it could happen to somebody. It happened to Wendy. And she is brave enough to be here to tell you about it today. And that is amazing. She's written about it. Following that, we're going to have, uh, again, we're going to have Adrian Hill. Here on my right, my Canadian friend. Canada does exist. Canadian does exist. And she's going to, she's an expert not only on the Winchester Mystery House, she's also an expert on Tourette syndrome. And this is a workshop, so you guys will be asked to participate. It's powerful. I've done this online, and it is incredible for talk, and I'm giving you a full hour to really make sure you guys understand. So please try to stay for that. Followed by that will be Bill Patterson, who's going to be running Skeppardy, which is Jeopardy, but better. And it's, uh, that will be happening last. Now, Bill is not here at this moment, but he will be here. After all that's over, then we will be going to uh, clean up the room. I'll ask for people to help me. And then after that, we'll probably go down to some place to eat and continue the conversation. We usually go to the Chipotle, which is down the hill, so don't get it for lunch. Unless <laughs> 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 you really love Chipotle. Okay? <laughs> Just warning you ahead of time. Um, if you have questions or concerns or feedback, please let one of the organizers know. And that would be Deborah over here. Raise your hand, Deborah. Kathy, where are you? In the back. And other people are happy to point out somebody else who's some of the main organizers for the group. We do have magazines and books in the back. If you want to take one, take them. If you want to leave us a donation for them, please leave us a donation for them. There is a survey that's in the back. It's in the 
basket back in the very back, the woven basket with pins. We would appreciate if you'd fill out the surveys and put them in the little po pocket behind it because we really like feedback. Thank you, Paula, for the tulips and flowers. That is so super sweet. Coffee and all that other stuff. And um, what am I forgetting before you? Maybe to announce the Times Religious Mystery House. Oh, yes. And tomorrow we will be going to the Winchester Mystery House. I have one ticket that I accidentally purchased that um, it's for the second talk. So the first one is at 11 20. something. Oh, no, it's 11 50. Yeah, that's the walk with spirits thing. I will be going to that, and several other people here I think have tickets to that. So that tour is an hour long. Mark, I will we'll definitely get that one. And then after that one, then we're going to be going to the tour, the main tour uh, of the thing. And I have one ticket left for that. Like I said, here's Mark, I see Mark. So I have one ticket for that, and whoever walks me first with money will get it. And I guess Arlo thinks he's going to take it. Okay. So I can get that. Um, after the, the Winchester Mystery House, we are going to go to, across the street, there's a place called Urban Plates. It's a social uh, cafeteria kind of like place. I've got it on the website. If you want to look at that, you can go and mingle and hang out. If you do not want to go to one of the Winchester Mystery House tours, there will be people sitting over there because Mark and Leonard are only going to go to the haunted tour. So by 11-ish, 12-ish, uh, they're going to be over at Urban Plates and you guys can go join them and hang out. So we're all about conversation. We're all about community. I hope everybody's good at not keep in mind that every, not everybody in here knows all the acronyms that we say. A lot of people don't know who some of the people are, like James Randi, you might not know who that is. The Center for Inquiry, you might not know what that is. So um, write it down, get a piece of paper, we have paper if you need it, and make notes and someone will be happy to answer that if somebody up here um, does end up giving something.